Hey, welcome back to Bamboo Eats, guys. Today we got a great episode once again for you guys. We're gonna be making empanadas, but we're not gonna be doing it in the traditional Spanish sense. We're gonna do a little Asian style shrimp and we're gonna stuff them. So, as you see, I got my uncooked empanadas and here's the finished product. And I bet you guys wanna see how we go from this to that, all right? So what we'll do is I'll grab my ingredients and I'll meet you guys right back here for another great episode of Bamboo Eats. All right, guys, so first things first when we doing uh, shrimp empanadas, we gotta have some shrimp. All right, so here I got some good shrimp and this is pre-cooked shrimp. And the reason why we're gonna start with the pre-cooked shrimp is because I don't wanna have to cook the shrimp wait for it to cool down, stuff it in a the disc, then reheat it. It saves us a step, and it's also totally unnecessary to start with uh, raw shrimp with this. So what I'm gonna do is just take this shrimp, and you see I cut it up really nicely. All right, so here we're gonna do, get the rest of that off. All right, and it's not a lot of shrimp. We're not making a lot uh, today, and you don't need much shrimp per disc. Uh, so let's just uh, start with the sauces. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, uh, right here, this is white pepper. So season that up with a little bit of white pepper. All right. I took some ginger, as you see, and I just dice it up by myself. All right. And it don't have to be so fine with this. All right. And that ginger, it's great. It gives you that nice little sweetness. Okay. This is just soy sauce. So you just throw that soy sauce up in there. Rice vinegar. As you see, this is just regular Asian spices. And I'm not going to use all the rice vinegar right now. So I just put about half of that. And I have the exact me measurements inside the description so you guys will see. This is a great ingredient. Sesame oil. It's very fragrant. Uh, you can smell this about a mile away. But it's a very great smell. It's very, uh, I'm saying away, smoky. All right. And... What really makes these this recipe is these next two. So this is chili paste, all right? Oh, you gotta get that chili paste. And this chili paste has a little bit of garlic in it already, all right? And we got this called hoisin sauce, hoisin. I don't really don't know the exact pronunciation, but I'm gonna just call it hoisin sauce. And it's nice and pasty, really sweet. And uh, for all the people who love Chinese food, you'll be really familiar with this, this flavor profile so as you see I got all of this stuff real simple and we're just gonna mix this up get this mixed up you know and just basically until you feel like all the ingredients are blended well so yeah check this out you can see it's almost like a little salad of different sauces and spices okay so now that I got that all mixed up, like I said, really, really simple recipe. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up my disc and I'm gonna take out my disc and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna stuff the disc and seal the disc, all right? So I'll see you guys in a few. All right, guys, so right now we got our shrimp mix. And so we're gonna get to stuff in these uh, discs. So what I'm doing is I'm just gonna take a little small spoon and just grab about, just about a spoonful, all right? And put it right in the center of the disc. You do, just fold that over, press the edges down, you'll see it form a little pocket, and you just seal it with a fork, just like this. As you see, it kind of looks like a small version of like a Jamaican beef patty, you know, just got it, just flip it. We'll just do the same to that side. This is just keeping it all in so when we throw it in the fryer, it don't come bursting open and your stuff is everywhere and you gotta remake the whole dish and everyone's pissed at you and your girlfriend leaves you. All right, so this is this is basically how it looks. All right, so just gonna do that with the same. Probably make about, uh, I'll probably say about six to eight, you know. Just grab another spoonful, just a little bit more in that one. All right, right in the center. We're just gonna repeat this process a couple times. And when I get back to you guys, we'll be ready to throw them in the fryer. Real quick, I mean, this whole thing takes about 45 minutes. That's with prep and cooking. All right, so like I said, let's, we're just gonna seal these up in the same fashion. 
Now it's time to fry these empanadas up. So you see, kind of got them all sealed on both sides. And uh, frying obviously is simple, you know what I mean? So what I wanted to do is I wanted to fill up the oil so I could just drop it in instead of having in a shallow oil. And when you're frying something like this, you want to just simply place it in like that. You don't want to drop it in. Definitely want to place them in. All right, so I'll put two in at a time. And what it's going to do is going to um, fry there for about three to four minutes. And you just want to get it till it's uh, golden brown on the outside. And you just let it sit and you don't want to bother it too much, all right? Got the other ones over here. Got a little mountain. Couple people coming over to eat in a few, you know what I'm saying? So we just doing it bamboo style, all right? And look at that. You see, it's, it's coming along already. Look at that. See that? I said, it just takes a few minutes. that alone maybe about 35 more seconds look how beautiful that is look how beautiful that is you really can't mess this uh recipe up and i promise you that it's just it's entirely too simple but it's entirely too delicious not to try so let's see how these are looking right now okay All right. so what i'll do is like that you let the oil drop off a little bit you just place right here on top of a napkin to let that oil roll sink in. All right. So see how simple that was real fast. You didn't even have to cut, come back. So just keep putting them in until you're done. Like I said, place them in. Don't drop them. All right, guys. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'll finish these up and I'll get back to you. We'll be plating. And I'm going to throw a little bit of sesame seeds on top of it, give it a little crunch, and uh, try out the food. You know what I'm saying? So I'll see you guys in a few. Bamboo Eats. All right, guys. So we're done. And I think this is a total success. I made a little spicy mayo on the side. Uh, all ingredients will be in the description. And also I topped it with a little bit of toasted uh, sesame seeds. So for today, we got another uh, guest who's returning actually. He's our first returning guest. Good friend of mine, everybody. Uh, clap your hands for Tony B2Y. Right. I had to come hey, back. I had to come back. So what do we have here today? All right, so this is a uh, shrimp empanada. All right, I seasoned it with a little uh, Asian flavors. Mm. So yo, try it out. Tell me what you think, Just man. Scooping it here. Catastrophic. <laughs> you don't like it, right? Huh? You don't like it? Hell yeah! You do? Smoke, yeah. It's catastrophic. That's what that. It's just. It's bad. For, catastrophic. It's bad for you trying to lose weight. It's definitely bad. For this trying to guy lose is weight. crazy. All right. This Gotta have you all worried for a second. I'm like, what the hell? Catastrophic. But look, guys, I'm gonna eat the the, the second Whoa. one, all right? Because. Talk about catastrophic. <laughs> this is over here, so. Yeah. So, I'm gonna finish this. Now, my man Tony, we're gonna sit back and go sneaker shopping or something. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace. Man, Luis. <laughs>